in this video we will show you how to use 3D graphs, how to create data for them and how to manipulate them. We will start with an empty canvas. You can only place a 3D graph in the canvas. We will create variable A as a matrix of 2 times 2. As it is a 3D space, you will need three coordinates and on each element you will need a vector. We are now going to type the first coordinate for the first 3D point. Minus one, minus two and one third is the first point in the 3D graph. The second point coordinates will be one, minus two and minus one third. The third coordinate points will be minus one, two and two thirds. And finally the fourth coordinate points will be one, two and minus two thirds. By pressing the 3D graph icon you can place the graph in the canvas. Using the left key you can drag the graph around. Dragging the blue dots allows you to change the 3D graph size. If you right click on the graph, you can select properties. By selecting the variable from 3D graph properties, it will show the curve from that variable. By pressing add, we will get a 3D plus graph software. Now we can see the curve, which is based on matrix A. When you close the 3D software, the graph will appear on the 3D canvas. It will be in the same position on the canvas as it was before. There is another way to generate data for the graph using the function surface 3D. The surface 3D will generate 3D matrix for the 3D graph. On the first argument, we will place the function sine x squared plus y squared. The second argument is the variable you want to change in the graph. The third and fourth argument are the left and the right end of the x-axis, which is the x-domain of the 3D graph. In our case, it is minus 5 and 5. In the fifth argument, you place the number of divisions you want of the x-axis. The maximum number of divisions available is 100. Now we are going to do the y-coordinates, which are going from minus 5 to 5, with 50 divisions. We are going to place one more 3D graph on the canvas. If you right-click on the graph and click Properties, you can place variable B. Once you press OK, the 3D software will automatically open. As you can see, the graph has many peaks with a high altitude. We are going to click the ratio icon where you can alter the Z ratio. If you close the 3D+, plus, the graph will show up on the canvas. Let's open the other graph by double clicking on it. If you click the drop down menu next to this icon, it will open up a form where you can enter a new curve. We are going to make the function cosine x squared plus y squared. We will set the x and y axis precision to 50. Now we will set the x and y axis minimum as minus 5 and the x and y axis maximum as 5. Now we will press the generate button and it will open a new window called the data manager. We are going to close the other window. In the current table, you have a status column, which tells you if your graphs are connected or disconnected. If you select row two and click connect, you will connect the new 3D surface to the graph. 
and now you can see both 3D surfaces. In addition, we can remove one of the 3D surfaces. We will select the first surface and click Disconnect. Once again, we are going to reduce the Z ratio. We will change the graph angle slightly and close the 3D+. That's all for now.